Coronary ischemia is the most common cause for ventricular dysrhythmias. For patients with ventricular tachycardia or ventricular fibrillation without an apparent alternate cause, emergent coronary angiography should be considered in order to potentially open an occluded vessel. Patients with cardiac arrest following an ST elevation myocardial infarction should be taken emergently for percutaneous coronary intervention as soon as possible, just as those without arrest. Some patients will continue to remain unstable until their coronary occlusion is opened, so it may be necessary to continue to provide circulatory support. Reperfusion after cardiac arrest may cause a variety of EKG abnormalities, which may be confusing. However, even among patients without definitive evidence of ST elevation after cardiac arrest, more than 25% of them may benefit from a percutaneous coronary intervention. Regional and institutional practice patterns should help guide intervention, but it's important to maintain a high suspicion for an acute coronary lesion in all patients with an unexplained ventricular dysrhythmia. So I hope you liked this video. Absolutely make sure to check out the course this video was taken from and to register for a free trial account which will give you access to selected chapters of the course. If you want to learn how MetMastery can help you become a great clinician, make sure to watch the About MetMastery video. So thanks for watching and I hope to see you again soon.